Happy rainy Monday tech class. So here's the big lesson that we've uh, been hotly anticipating the basic electrical uh, electrical work um, for the bathroom. Um, I shot a whole I, I shot a whole lesson on it and due to some technical difficulties, i.e. none of y'all being able to see anything, um, I decided to do something a little bit different this time. So, what I'm gonna do is show you um, what you'll probably find if you saw the electrical wires in your house and how to rewire a, um, an outlet as well as a switch. So, let's just hop right into it. Um, there's a few of you that still haven't done any kind of online work yet. Get it done. All right. Um, outside of that, no new updates over here. Bathroom's coming along great. I'll, uh, I'll share some pictures with you. And um, I'm going to try to do like a montage of smaller part, parts of the job um, in one video. But the electrical one's really important. So... First thing you want to do if you ever do electrical is make sure you go down to the breaker box and turn the power off, okay? To make, to, to test, to uh, see if the power is off, you have a little tester like this. It's a voltage tester. See, green. Green means good. Green means that there is no voltage and you can get to work, all right? When you hit voltage, I don't have any around here. Um, when you hit voltage, it turns red and it beeps. So red means you're dead, okay? So make sure this is green before you do any kind of electrical work, okay? And off that goes. So if you have an outlet, start with an outlet, kind of looks like this, all right? If you have it and the plugs just aren't working that well, uh, you always have to jiggle uh, the wire um, or the, you know, the plug of your appliance to get it to work. Uh, these only last about 10 or 12 years. Uh, the ones that I've been replacing in my house have been here for 30 years. So, there a lot of them don't work very well. So, all you're going to do is when you unscrew this from the wall, you're going to see a wire that looks like this. This is um, residential wiring that you'll find throughout your whole house inside the walls. So, usually it's white, um, but now they use some that's yellow. Um, and the thickness of wire is measured in gauges. This is 12 gauge wire. So if you take your box cutter or utility knife and cut open this yellow insulation, you've got three, if they'll cooperate, you got three wires. Your black is your hot, your bare wire is your ground, and your white wire is your neutral. So basically, if we're looking at this, um, electricity flows up through the black wire, does whatever work it's got to do, outlet, switch, whatever, and then comes back down through the neutral wire down to your breaker. And that completes the circuit. All right. Um, the ground wire just grounds the circuit um, uh, to keep everyone all safe. Okay. So basically the whole thing is one big circle. Come up through the black, do your work, down through the white. So what we're gonna be focusing on primarily here are the black and white wires, all right? Uh, first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your wire strippers. You'll notice this has like, see teeth right there? Each one's a different gauge. So each one should fit on a different gauge wire. For our case, we're using 12 gauge wire. We've got to strip off this insulation. You go down eh, about three quarters to one inch. And this takes a lot of practice to get good at it. You don't want to squeeze it too hard because you'll cut the wire. And you don't want to squeeze it too soft because you'll just kind of scratch the insulation. All right, so now we've got Fold that one out of the way so we can focus on these two. Okay, so we got those two all ready to go. Next, we are going to take our needle nose pliers. All right, we're going to make a hook. Ready? Right there. 
right there. See, we got two little hooks right there. Now with our outlets, gold is where the money is. All right, gold is where your power comes in and silver is where you hook up your neutral for the power to go out. All right, so in, out. And these circuits go this way. So this is if you want to wire to another outlet called daisy chaining. Anyway, all you're gonna do, we've got that little screw right there. You are just going to, we're gonna put it in that way. You're gonna hook it around the screw. Take your Phillips head screwdriver. All right, and as you can see, it's under the head of that screw. All right, and the white wire is gonna come over here. Okay, I don't have a ton of length on this, um, but in your wall, you'll have a lot more. All right, so that's how you do a an outlet. Whoa. So the other thing are switches. Switches are a little bit easier, okay? Um, you'll notice you only have the gold um, uh, screws in there. You do not have any silver. Which So all that means is power in and power out. That's it, okay? That power out can go to another switch. It can go, well, actually it's gonna go to your appliance. Um, and how you add a jumper in here is a little tricky, but you can power other switches from this. I'm going to cut this whole part out. All right. So power in, power out. So power in from the breaker, power out to your appliance. All right. Same kind of deal. All right. You got that. You got your hook. All you got to do is hook it right around there. All right, so take a look at that. Screwed right around there. We are under that head. That makes your connection. All right. All right, so I know that some of you are probably like, oh my God, you know, these videos are so stupid. Like, when am I ever gonna use this? I'm never gonna do any of it. All right, so. It's, it's, I don't know, it's little things like when you have an apartment or a house when you get older, um, just to be able to fix something. Like I said, electricians charge a lot of money to change a switch and change an outlet. And if you can do it, I think the outlets cost about $3 and the switches cost about two fifty. So, you know, seven bucks instead of a hundred. Um, uh, the other thing that I want you all to um, understand is uh, trying new things um, and trying something that you're not comfortable with. So as long as you take all the safety all the safety measures and make sure everything's turned off and um, and everything like that, then uh, you can definitely try this stuff. Uh, talk to your parents first. Uh, the last thing that I'm sure they want is. Um, you guys tearing apart outlets and switches throughout their house um, because a crazy eighth grade tech teacher told you to, but um, double check with them. And uh, if, if your parents are working on something, um, help them out. Uh, I've learned a lot just from, you know, uh, holding pliers and holding wire strippers and everything like that. So um, uh, look for a Google form for this. Uh, remember tools that I used um, wire strippers, uh, Phillips head screwdriver, uh, needle nose pliers, voltage tester, um, and that is it. Uh, pretty, pretty, really basic stuff, really easy stuff. Um, um, so yeah, that's it. Talk to you soon.